have you ever feel or related to Hannah Baker or experienced, you know, dark times while in your childhood in high school? Yeah, I think that's the beauty of the show, right? Everyone can identify with Hannah Baker mm -hmm. or has a friend who can identify with Hannah Baker and experience something similar to Many fans identify with the story around the world. Uh, even they try to contact you, reach you. Do you have any particular story that you can share with us? Oh, there's tons. We meet people all the time who have been affected by it. So, you know, I, I, not any particular, but it's. I, I know it's wonderful when we meet someone who's been positively impacted by the show. It's pretty special. And how was it working with Selena Gomez as your executive producer? How is she as a boss? Does she pay good? <laughs> uh, well, we could always get paid better. Um, I think, I think, uh, Hello, Sel Selena. <laughs> yeah, no. Selena's a busy woman, so she's on set when she can be, but um, she's gracious and, and devoted to the, the theme and the message of the show, and that's wonderful to have on set and, and uh, just to know that that's who's backing us. You know? I heard that Catherine had made her um, casting through Sky, right? Do you guys remember the way you did your castings and the moment you were told that you were part of the series? Yeah. yeah. yeah Tell me about it. It's kind of a boring process, but um, I auditioned first for Hannah, and then I auditioned again and put myself on tape for Jessica, and then they told me to come in to read with Brian Yorkie and Tom for Jessica, and then they called me in the next day and said, read for Hannah again, and then I'm like, oh, I got neither parts, and then they <laughs> called me like three weeks later and was like, oh, we would like to offer you the role of Jessica, and that's my story, yeah. Um, yeah, I was, I had just moved to New York from college, and I was just like, I was working a catering job constantly at, during the day, or, or during the night, and then auditioning during the day, and 13 Reasons was one of these parts that was being juggled around and I had auditioned for Clay and Bryce and then Justin came along and I got on the phone with my agents and I was like oh my god like I feel like Justin like I should I, I want to play this part I love the script and everything that I kept reading about it and had jumped on the book because I was super interested and then it was just a lot of back and forth with me calling my agent and like did you hear anything <laughs> and they'd be like they said hold on hold on hold on and then one day I got off the subway I got off the subway at two stops before because I had known that that was the day and I was anxious about being in the subway because of the service like the cell phone service right. so I got off and thank God I did because I'm walking to this restaurant and I get the call and I'm just like oh my god I can't answer it <laughs> and then I finally did and I just screamed for like 10 minutes in the street. Brandon and I went to school together right yeah. so oh. I was, we were hanging out a lot at the time yeah. and we were both in communication about the script and he found out the day before I went over to celebrate with him and, uh, and then I left his apartment because he was getting ready. They had told him we were gonna, you know, you're gonna leave in, in a day or so. Uh -huh. and yeah. I left and I was a little downtrodden. I was like, oh, damn, I didn't get this role. And then I got the phone call and I was outside of his house. And, uh, and then we left together for, uh, for, the, for the show. That was pretty special. And here you are, ready for the music. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. It's lovely to meet you.